What's up guys, Rogue9 here. Did you know that you can break Sophia's withstand ability with certain custom game settings? And Doc's self-revive does not always grant 75 HP. Who would have thought it? And while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and find out what else might differentiate the self-revive abilities of these two characters. Let's do this. Quick side note here, tis the season of giving, so I will be hosting one of those giveaways that are all the rage right now. Up for grabs are three copies of the Rainbow Six Siege Year 3 Season Pass, details in the description below. So the aim of today's video is to quickly explore the three methods of revival from the DBNO state, so that we can always make the right choice of which method to go with in future situations. Let's address the elephant in the room first, and that is that none of these methods will restore a fixed amount of health. Sure, under most circumstances, Doc's Stim Pistol will revive a player with 75 HP, a teammate pickup will restore 50 HP, and Zofia can pick herself up with 1 HP. But while testing these different scenarios in custom games with custom health settings, I discovered that the health restoration rate is actually a percentage of the total rather than a fixed value. So Stims are 75%, Standard revives 50 and Sophia's Withstand is 1% of overall health. And that throws up an interesting problem. What if you're playing as Sophia in a custom hardcore match with baseline health of less than 100 HP, i.e. 75, 50 or 25? In theory, you would end up with a fraction of 1 HP, but as I've mentioned in previous videos, the game rounds down any partial health points and that means that with standing as Zofia in this situation, as soon as you pick yourself up, you die. I thought that this was quite an interesting little discovery, but of course it will only ever affect you in custom games, so far more important than this is how the three methods stack up in standard games. As you will already know, you can only ever be downed once per round, not counting frost traps, which means that the amount of health that is restored during a revive is very important and straight away that gives us a clear hierarchy. Doc is the best, then the teammate revive and finally Zofia's withstand. Having mentioned frost traps, by the way, it's also worth pointing out here that the only way of getting out of the trap is with the help of a teammate. Neither Sophia's withstand ability nor stim pistol shots will save a trapped player. Back to the revive comparison and besides health, another important aspect to consider is the timelines of each method plus any additional effects you may suffer during that time. Zofia's withstand will refill your health at 4.35 seconds, your hipfire crosshairs will reappear at 4.65 seconds and the entire animation completes at around 4.85 seconds. During the first 3 seconds of the animation you're facing the floor which makes you more vulnerable but once you look up your vision is completely normal. The withstand ability is triggered using the same button as you would normally use to slow down the bleed out of your character. So does that mean that if you don't want to get up you run the risk of bleeding out before a teammate can get to you? Well no, as you can clearly see in this comparison here, Zofia's natural bleed out rate is half of that of an ordinary character and beyond that the timer stops during the withstand animation so in theory you could string out the DBNO state almost to infinity by starting and stopping the self revive. Getting picked up by a teammate will refill your health after 2.5 seconds at which time your crosshairs will also appear and the animation fully completes at 4 seconds. In terms of your vision, you are locked to looking forward while you're being picked up, which is not great but better than looking down, and your vision clears up instantly at the 1 second mark, giving you a decent view of what's going on around you. And finally, the Stim Pistol darts have the advantage of being able to revive from a distance, will instantly refill your health and your crosshairs will appear at a mere 1.8 seconds. The animation fully completes at 2.75 seconds. Very impressive times and the only downside to this revive method is that your vision is locked forward and significantly affected by a black and white blurry filter. In conclusion, unsurprisingly Doc has the most powerful ability given that it is linked to his gadget. And even though there were a lot of initial concerns around Zofia's ability when it was first announced, I think this detailed comparison shows quite clearly that the ability is more of a novelty rather than a serious advantage. It's slow, you are forced to stare at the floor, you end up with only 1% of health and if you're playing a custom match with less than 100 HP, the ability doesn't even work. 
Zofia having a slow bleed out time which incidentally is the same speed as a defender wearing rook plates or as any other character applying pressure is a minor advantage but the only situation in which I can see this ability really making a difference is if there is a double down in a 1v1. Other than that you are far better off asking a teammate for some assistance. And that's it, short and sweet today, but I do hope that some of the info was still new and maybe even useful to you. Comments, likes and dislikes go below and do check out the giveaway as well if you fancy getting your hands on one of those season passes. With that, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode.